Hey guys, Tech Adventure with a video for you guys. In today's video, we're gonna be troubleshooting a common issue that you might encounter or encounter in the future with your iPhone, and that is the camera on your iPhone isn't working, whether it be the front camera or the back camera. It might be black, it might be shaking, it might be blurry, or you simply can't find the camera app here. And we'll show you how you can fix that with the top troubleshooting step that Apple recommends doing and if it's not a hardware related issue and hopefully it will resolve that issue so first thing you want to do if your camera is not working here as you can see the first issue you have here i'm searching for the camera app and it's not there when i pull down the control menu here the camera is not there it's completely gone and why is that and i was wondering the same here well the first thing you want to do is check if there's a restriction on the iphone itself here what we mean by restriction is you want to go into settings once you go into settings you want to go into this feature known as screen time. Click on screen time. You'll notice if there's a screen time set up already, it's going to have this. You might have to enter a password if a password is set on this device. That means someone has set up the screen time with a pass code to restrict certain application on your iPhone. So you may need to get the original person who set that screen time on that device. If it's a child's device, usually parents do that. If it's a device that you work for, or got from work or somewhere, they might have set that up and put a pass code that you won't know until they know. So once you're onto the screen, what you want to check for is this content and privacy restriction. Go ahead and click on that. And once you click on that, you want to take a look at this content or actually you want to look at allowed apps. You want to look at that allow apps and then you'll notice here all these apps are green meaning they're allowed but the camera one is grayed out here that means we don't have access to camera because it's disabled so we're going to make sure that is turned on and once we have turned that on now we're going to go ahead and look for our camera again this might happen because of software update or someone put screen time restriction now this time if we pull down the control menu here you notice is that there is that camera icon now that appeared and now if we click on that we'll have access to our camera and photo and video and then the same thing goes for the actual app as you can see it's right here now we can open up the app now let's say you're still having issues you were able to open up the camera it's black and you can't see anything or it simply doesn't show anything at all what you can do is start toggling and check out the different mode you have sometimes one mode might not work because of a software issue so you want to check out to see if it's actually the software itself let's say it works on video but not photo that means it's a software issue and we can do the other steps that will show you how to do that now you want to also toggle to go to the front camera so you want to do something like this check out the front camera to make sure that is working and go back to the back flip it around change the mode just to see if it's a software issue because if it works let's say one of the mode doesn't work it's most likely a software issue which will show what to do next the next thing you want to do is actually give it a force restart Force restart is the best thing to do whenever you have any sort of software issue preventing your application not running well on the iPhone. To do that, on a newer iPhone, iPhone 8 and above, you want to press and release the volume up and then press and release the volume down and then hold this big side button on your right hand side. Don't slide to power it off as it says. Just keep on holding that big button on your right hand side as you can see we're holding it and then wait till the Apple logo appears and we'll let go of that device and then wait till it boots up. So that's quickly release and let go the volume up, then volume down and then press this side button until it goes completely black and the Apple logo appears. What this does is clears out the cache on the memory, gets a refresh and boots it up to make sure any software issue that might have been disabling or having issues with the camera will be clear if it is a software issue. The next thing you want to do is after doing that is go ahead and do a reset of all of your settings. So you're going to go into settings and this time you're going to go to general and then all the way down here where it says transfer or reset when you click on that you want to click on this option the first one do not click on the erase all content and setting don't click on the second one the first one the other one will delete all of your photos videos apps and put it back to reset your phone you want to click on the first one here again first one this time you want to click on this option here where it says 
reset all settings. What this will reset is set, reset things like your connections or any custom settings that you have set up that are not default. It won't delete any photos, videos, or anything like that. So we want to click on that, hit that reset button. It'll say the same thing. This will pretty much delete all of your settings, but no data or media will be erased. So we can do that. So once we do that, you'll see the Apple logo. This will load up. And we're going to give it, a, again, a few minutes for it to do reset of the settings. You'll lose things like Wi-Fi connections if you have saved, if you save any sort of other settings that aren't default settings, they'll be gone. And that kind of helps because if a setting is affecting your camera from not working, it will resolve that for you. And after we do this, we're going to go on to the next big thing that potentially could be impacting your camera from not working. Again, as you can see, this process, again, depends on how much setting you have, might take a little bit longer for you. Again, you just have to be patient. And while you're at it, we're going to go on to the next thing, which we'll do if you get to the home screen, which is going to be actually updating the software. As you can see, our screensaver is also gone. And all the apps are reset original to their original position. However, the apps that we install are there. Our photos, videos are also there, so no issues there. So the next thing we want to do after we have a reset all settings is that we're going to go ahead and uh, do what's known as software update. So we go into settings, we're going to go to general, and then software update. What is software update? Well, software update is pretty much if there's an update out there, that could potentially be impacting a previous update, Apple will probably send out a fix. So for that, you'll need to make sure if you did the reset, connect to your Wi-Fi one more time here. So we're going to go ahead, connect to our internet here. Once you're connected here, hit that join button. So we're going to make sure we're connected to Wi-Fi because the updates are checked through your internet connection. We're going to do general again, software update, give it few moment again to load to see if there's any software update that's available as you can see there's a new update available potentially if you have an older version update that has a bug or something Apple might have released a fix for it so we're gonna go ahead and click on download and install we won't do that right now here because that of course will take somewhere between 15 to 20 minutes even up to, up to hours sometimes depending on how big the update is and you'll have to plug it into a charger but go ahead and update the software and it's generally recommended whenever you take it to troubleshooting at Apple they're going to tell you to do the same thing now let's say it's still not working you're still having issues what can you do next the next thing you can check is something known as profile and management of your device so if you go to settings again this time you want to go to general and you want to look for this VPN and device management that you want to make sure you want to click on that and as you can see if you see that there's a profile or something available you want to go ahead and click on that and try to remove or delete that sometime you not, might not be able to sometime you might be able to we'll show you what that looks like so we're going to show you based on this demo that we have here as you can see right here it's going to be something like this with some kind of profile name and you can Sometimes remove it if it's not locked down with the password or something. But if it is, you might have to actually contact the original person that put on the management because it might have to be removed through a password or something like that. So you want to make sure that there is no profile set because that could restrict a device. That happens, again, if your device is from school or work or some organization that controls or supervises your device. So those are the top troubleshooting steps that you want to go ahead and take. Hopefully, one of them help you resolve it. Now, if none of this resolve it, most likely you have an issue with the actual hardware, which means you'll have to either take it to an authorized Apple repair shop where they can take a look at the actual hardware, which would be the front camera, if it's a front camera that you have an issue, or the actual back camera, which would be actually opening up the device. Again, we won't do that because that's more advanced and that requires the right tool and the right person to do it. So hopefully at least one of these tips help you guys and if any other tip you guys have, please make sure to share with us and everyone else in the comment section. Thanks for watching guys. See you guys next time.